have you wondered how much it's going to cost to fill your swimming pool this season? You kind of want to know before you get that bill, before you fill the pool. Well, I'm going to go over that with you in this video, give you a website you can go to to punch in a few numbers, and then you will get the exact or close to amount it's going to cost you to fill your swimming pool. Of course, first, you need to know is it um, a water bill that you get from a utility company or do you have a water well? You need to know how much it costs per 1,000 gallons and then we can get you the formula you need based on the size of pool you have. So if you have a water bill through a water company or your city, you can look on their website or call them or look on the bill and you'll need to know how much it costs uh, per 1,000 gallons is how most of them will be. If it happens to be per 2,000 gallons, of course, cut that in half to get you 1,000. And then once you have that information, we're going to plug it in a formula and find out what it's going to actually cost per your uh, water for the additional amount. And if you have a water well, you need to look at the information from the manufacturer, find out how much it will cost. Probably will not cost quite as much. Also, if you're through a water company, there may be a sort of storage fee, not a storage, a, there may be a sewage fee that you have to pay as well. You'd have to calculate that in. We're going to assume it's $9 per 1,000 in this video. That's a good estimate. Some people could be a little higher and many people will be under that. We're going to use that in this video in determining how much it costs to fill a pool. And if you do not know how much it costs, use $9. That'll get you a general idea. You may save money. It may cost you a little more, but it'll be really, really close. So I'm gonna get my computer here and go to easyclearpool.com slash cost. Go ahead and go to that website. Once you're there, you're gonna see this screen right here and you'll scroll on down. It gives you a little bit of information and then it's going to have a little calculator. You can fill in some information here. Now, like I said, I punched nine in a minute ago, but we're going to average this at $9 per 1,000. And you can change that if you want to whatever your rate is per 1,000 gallons. If you do not fill this in, you're not going to get this answer, but you can still get how many gallons of water your pool actually takes. So in pool length A, I'm going to put 24 feet and in pool length B, I'm going to put 24 feet and in water depth. Well, if it was completely empty, yeah, about 4.5 inch of five feet or about 52 inches. Okay. Now you'll need to select round or rectangle. Of course it is a round pool. So you want to select that. And of course, if you have a rectangle pool, these numbers will be different and you would choose rectangle as it's a different formula to determine how many gallons of water is in your pool. And then we got nine here. You'll punch nine in here and you can see it's gonna cost right at $137 to fill my pool to its full capacity from empty to full. Now, what if you actually wanted to know how much it's gonna cost because you partially drained your pool? Well, all you need is a tape measure. Check this video out. Right, so what you can do here is you're just going to take your tape measure and it rained it quite a bit. I need to get that water off the cover, but you can do it with the cover still on the pool. That way you can, uh, it'll stop right at the cover and then it's going to go ahead and show you pretty close uh, to about how much uh, water you're going to have to add to this. Looks like probably about 16 inches, I would say. About 1.25 feet maybe to uh, that to, it's not gonna be one and a half because one and a half would be a little high. So I think about 1.25. So that'll give you an idea. And you can go ahead and punch that in the calculator as well, just to kind of see roughly how much water it's gonna take uh, to fill your pool and how much it's gonna cost. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do this at 1.5 feet. That way it's probably not gonna cost as much as I calculate, but it'll give me an idea. So. I'm going to change the water depth right here from 4.5 to 1.5 because that's what it will take to get it back to where it uh, is full. And 
it automatically changed here to $45. I actually think it would probably be closer to this and you can see it would be $38. But if you go a little over, that way it'll be a conservative number and you can expect it to be under what you expect on your next bill uh, or under what you predict is what I always like to do. So you'll just fill this information out right here, uh, ever how much, if it's empty or if it's uh, you know a partial fill, and it will give you the information right here. And now that you know how much it's going to cost in the pocketbook to fill your swimming pool, you probably are wondering how long is it going to take? Well, click this video right here and it will help you find that information out and you will see how long it's gonna take for that water hose to be in your swimming pool.